So what do you mean you had the surgery? Well, I was a, a skeptical, but you know, when you have leukemia and someone Stay said, with me, people, because this is as woo-woo as it I, is know how, I know how this sounds. This it, it sounds woo -woo. like, yeah. woo, it sounds crazy. <laughs> So anyway, uh, Raina, Raina uh, Piskova calls me from uh, down in Abidjan. Okay. She had the surgery. I had the surgery. Now the surgery, this is a guy who can do surgery to a thousand people in a room at the same time. This is not. He he is not somebody who does the surgery. Okay. He doesn't he doesn't remember any of it that he does. You can watch him do it. He goes he gets into this thing and he uh, he picks up these instruments and you can actually see pictures of the entities that enter his body as he as he does this I know when you're going down there you'll see I'm going down well, you did a whole show on it. I, I mean, did but somebody every time I've heard about him or talked about mm -hmm. him or even written about him in the magazine it has been through somebody else's right, eyes right and I keep hearing well, these stories and hearing I had a stories. direct experience a direct experience so I so anyway so I went to bed I didn't feel anything nothing changed it this was is like, after you've taken the I, herbs I, I took the herbs she said you'll wake up the next at seven o'clock she told me what time the surgery was at seven o'clock she said you'll get up at eight o'clock and then you'll drink some of the water the blessed water and you'll go right back to bed for 24 hours Let, let's get to the surgery part okay the so, surgery is just it's a remote surgery I mean it, it was 12,000 miles from where I was so it's um, you know I don't I don't know what happened these are entities they don't have any form they're just uh, these spirits that that enter his body. It's been going on for 40 years okay, to 25 million people. Okay, so tell me this. People. Does he tell you a certain time to lay down, a certain way yeah. to lay down? No, just go to bed, wear white, just wear everything is white, well, drink the water, uh -huh. take the herbs, yeah. and uh, and don't have sex, and don't uh, don't eat spicy food, uh, and don't eat pork. Um, but basically, that's that's it, okay? So... I did everything. I went to bed. I, you know, I got up. Were you skeptical as I am right now? Yes. Because this sounds yes. crazy. I know. I know. It was. But, but that's because we have been conditioned to believe that, yes. that, uh, that, that you know, there's a... This is my limited self-talking. Okay. But here's a, here's a line from, from Jesus, you know, with God. Yes. All, all things, things are, are possible. possible. Now, what does that leave out? That leaves out nothing. Okay, that leaves out nothing. So it doesn't leave out this either. It leaves okay. out nothing. That's okay. what all things mean. I do if he meant that. some things are possible and some things aren't, he would have said that, you know, but he didn't. He said all but things are possible. But this does sound crazy even to you, I know. doesn't it? It's a, yeah, it did. It did. Okay, it okay. did. Okay, but so I had leukemia. It. Okay, and, uh, so when you, you know, have my leukemia. My white blood count was going up and uh, I had cancer in my blood and I was, you know, so. Yes. So uh, Reina called me and she said, go, go right back to bed. I said, I can't go back to bed. I just slept for eight hours. She said, you've had surgery. It's no different than having your gallbladder removed or something. She said, you've got to go right back How to bed. How did you feel when you woke up? I felt fine. I didn't feel any different, honestly. And I said to my kids, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> You know, it's like I, I, I walk about an hour and a half every day. I kind of brisk yes. walk and all of this. And then I got about 100 yards away and I collapsed. I mean, I couldn't get up. I was I was basically helpless. And I had to, I had to almost crawl back into the apartment I, to get on the elevator. I was out of breath. I just like and I said to I said to my daughter and my son, both of whom were there at the time that this happened. And they said, uh, <laughs> um, I said, I've just got to go back to bed. I said, I just feel so weak. I don't know what has happened. I have no idea. And I went back to bed until 8 o'clock the next morning, wow. <laughs> 24 hours. I slept. I got up twice to go to the bathroom and to have a little bit of a soup, and I went back to bed. Now, that's not the weird part. <laughs> oh, that wasn't the weird <laughs> no, part. No, that wasn't the weird part. <laughs> well, do, do tell the weird part. Well,